Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to the Friday video model. In this video, we're going to cover the rider for our scooter and these video tasks are we're going to do. And without wasting our time, let's get to it. First of all, we have to import the character. We made the low poly character in the front in the medieval video series. Go check out the video and learn how to make the low poly character like this. And then import it to the file. We, made, we are going to make the character rider in the whole suit and the helmet. And then place it correctly. Now we need to set the match, match part of the character to set the shape according to the racer suit. The racer suit is important so we we'll get something rider look. Like, yes, like this. Now we are going to set the faces and look and clear them accordingly as, a, as it looks like a suit of um, a racer and then create the match from every side of the body and then set the shape if you want from the head and to the shoulder and anywhere else After we're done tweaking every shape of every part of the body, then we can move on to the next part like uh, making an image texture and UV it like a wave fruit of this lighter. Okay, now do some minimal changes if you want, and then we can create more it. We can now create more it and then open the two side menu. Side menu. Side window and then add image texture as a UV. Sorry, image editor and the shader editor. Use the image texture as I have stored to image the as that I downloaded and move it into the blender. Add image texture, name it as you like, and then set the UV and UV project from you and then you can. We place the UV correctly as it looks straight to the character's body. And then set the UV from every side, like me to the hand. And once you get something you like, you can save your work after that. Then, after that, we can create smooth it and then increase the roughness and give a little bit of specularity to give it a less shine. So, we get something cross shape, cross texture. Then save the work again. Now we need to make the helmet for our character. First, add in reference to him and then line up the reference to him correctly from side, back, and to the top. And from the top. Okay. Once we get some and everything lined up, then we can add something that fits the shape according to the helmet. Just like a UV stick. UV sphere, UV sphere we're gonna add and then 
increase the segment and the range to 10 by 10. So we don't have to add the subdivision surface so, and then we don't have to face any further map. So let's dec decrease the segments and the range and then you'll get something really nice. Then add subdivision surface with only one segment, only one subdivision. And then set the shape of the helmet according to the reference region, like moving some from the back and then from the top and to the front. After we're done with creating the vertices and edges and setting the shape according to the reference, now you can add some thickness using solid file, solid file, modify. Just like this, and then set the shape according to the reference. If you need any further mesh tweaks. Line up the mesh correctly. And then there were some areas where you want to have edges. And after you're done making the modeling the helmet overall, and now we can place the helmet to the character's body, to the character's head, and then place it to see how it looks and where to add the shape. This is helpful and a good way to make such things like properly, like helmet and something from head accessories. And now set the shape of, of the helmet anywhere you want any thing. Now we are done everything like setting the shape of the helmet from the character head. Okay, now uh, we have to add the material to it. In the, uh, okay, now add another material, but first, like the loop from the glassy part and du duplicate it, make it a separate object. Okay, like this, and use the solid mesh a little less. Like this. Okay, now fill the loop one by one and fill them by faces like this. Okay, once you get something nice, now you can we can join it later on. Otherwise, parent it and then set the shape accordingly. When there you see something not right and need to be set. We can name three some parts or bevel them 
to make it sharp look like this I mean to use this part right here and as you do something save your work and now we have to add the texture to the to our helmet and now join them or we can do this smoothness like this shade auto smooth it and decrease the subdivision level ok now everything is looking nice we need to add the texture to our helmet ok like this add auto smooth it and set the smoothness according to your liking and then join them as one piece and another thing is just to duplicate add the same texture and then duplicate it name it as you like as a helmet and anything else you like I will name it helmet one so we have we can duplicate it later on and then name it helmet two and add an image texture with a different image just like this and then upside view UV project from view and then set the UV according to the tool and the tool ok and it is good then save your work we make it small keep it tiny and this is the roughness and now we are done this is the final effect then I will see you guys in the next video and I will see you